Good morning, Amp for Campers. This is Town of New Windsor Recreation Director Matt Veronese, and I'm here at my house, and I'm gonna show you how to make chocolate chip pancakes, and I have my kids here with me, so say hi to Anthony and Gabriella, who are gonna help me make chocolate chip pancakes today. And I am a trained professional chef from the Paris Institute of Making Pancakes. No. So guys, what are the first thing, what are the ingredients that we need when we're making chocolate chip pancakes? Chocolate chips. All right, and chocolate chips. So we do mix. have chocolate chips and we like to use the mini ones when we make it. Yeah. And you need pancake mix, which is, we like to use the complete pancake mix so we don't have to use yeah. to add eggs. We just have to add water. Uh, what else do we need? Um, water. Water, right, which we will have water in our little cup in a minute and we need a big bowl right get a big bowl and what else a spatula, a spatula. good and you need a, spoon. a spoon good we like to use a big spoon and you can either use a frying pan on the stove or we like to use a griddle ours has got a little wear because these kids love chocolate chip pancakes so what we're gonna do is we're gonna Go ahead and put a little twist on this today and we're gonna make some colorful chocolate chip pancakes. Making chocolate chip pancakes, Gabrielle and Anthony always like to eat the chocolate chips. So I don't want them putting their hands in our little bowl of chocolate chips. So I always give them a little of their own bigger chocolate chips because that way they don't put their grubby little fingers in our ones that go in the pancakes. All right, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add two cups of complete pancake mix to the bowl. So Gabriella's gonna demonstrate that. Okay, Gabriella, show us how it's done. Make sure, Amp for Campers, that you always have your parents helping you with this because obviously the griddle is very hot. The next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna add one and a half cups of water and Anthony is gonna show us how to do that. Okay. Good job. Now we like to stir, and we have a little song in the Veronese household that we sing. It's called Stir the Batter. So when it's Anthony's turn, we sing. Ella, ready? We sing. Stir, stir, stir the batter. Stir, stir, stir the batter. Stir, stir, stir the batter. And stop. Now we know it's Ella's turn because the song's over. And Anthony, you sing with me. Stir, stir. Stir the batter, stir, stir, stir the batter, stir, stir, stir the batter, and stop. And obviously, it looks like it needs a little more stirring, so that's when I usually finish. Now, if you look and see, if it looks, you know, some people like thin pancakes, so you add a little more water. If you like thick pancakes, you can leave it. It's however you like it. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add chocolate chips. Like I said earlier, we like to use the little mini chocolate chips, but you can use whichever ones you want. All right, here's our chocolate chips. Honey, don't add too many. Okay, dear. Don't tell mommy. Now stir them up. All right, good job. Now this is normally where we can go ahead and put the pancakes on the hot griddle to make them. But today we're gonna do a little twist and we're gonna make some colorful ones. So we're gonna add some of the pancake mix into two squeeze bottles. And we just use regular uh, ketchup and mustard bottles. They've never been used for ketchup and mustard. They're just ones we picked up in the dollar store. And we're gonna add pancake mix to these bottles. Part, I always do a little pancake mix without chocolate chips in it, and I can just do that in the, in one of the uh, you know one of the glass containers that we poured the water or the mix in, and just mix it up really good, um, not putting chocolate chips because it's kind of hard for the chocolate chips to get through the spray bottle. So we'll do a little bit without, and then when our four-legged friends want their pancakes, we'll have some mix to make them a few pancakes without chocolate chips which it's not good for dogs Putting the pancake mix into the little stir bottle and into the little squeeze bottles we add the food coloring in to the squeeze bottles as well and i did blue 
in the yellow container and I did red in the red container. And then you mix them up really good by shaking them. Okay, this is where mom or dad are gonna have to help you guys out because this is very hot. You're gonna take your pancake mix and you're gonna pour it on the frying pan or the griddle and you want like a little circles. We do mini pancakes, you can do big pancakes too. And we're just gonna start off with four here. Yeah. Normally you could fit up to 10 on a griddle, probably four or five on a frying pan. All right, Anthony said he wanted to do blue. Yeah. So Anthony, I want you to pick one of those and you can decorate your pancake. Get on top of it. Okay. Kind of make some designs. It's a little hot. Be careful, like he said, it's hot. All right, Ella, do you wanna do yours? Good, and then you can also, like I like to make little baseball designs on mine. And then you could also do like smiley faces, with Hi, hair, Hi, all, obviously all different colors. Here you go, Gabriella, you can finish yours. Do you wanna? I'm gonna finish mine. All right, and then we, now we let them cook. Watch them as they're cooking. When they start to bubble, that's a good sign that they're done, but you want to check underneath. Yep, that's pretty good. So you're going to flip it over. All right. This is where you can add butter to it if you want, or you can wait to the end. This one I put on a little later, so we'll let that one go. You can also do designs where you do, if you want both sides, you know, you can do some stuff. one side add some pancake mix and then other side you know, obviously I'm not a very good artist but you guys could do a much better job that would have something on both sides That one is ridiculous. Well, we Obviously, hope every when we're making chocolate chip pancakes, the kids really like to eat just the regular plain pancakes. The ones with designs are cool to make, but we just do it for the fun for a couple of pancakes. Um, see how they are starting to bubble? That's when you want to turn them over. And they're nice and brown. And that's where you add butter. Good job by Anthony and Gabriella making their chocolate chip pancakes. And thank you for joining Cooking with the Recreation Director. We'll see you again later. Now our four-legged friends, Homer and Captain, are waiting for their non-chocolate chip pancakes. Good catch. Good catch.